Well, let's stay nearby for our next report now. European Union foreign ministers have urged Israel and the Palestinians to make Jerusalem a shared capital for the two nations. A statement was mixed with mixed reactions in Israel and also in the Palestinian territories. Andrew Dupuis has all the details. Israel had strongly objected to an earlier Swedish draft resolution which stated that East Jerusalem should be the capital of a Palestinian state. Israel also warned the move would damage the EU's ability to be a Middle East mediator. EU foreign ministers have now dropped that reference from the resolution but reiterated that the bloc would not recognize Israel's unilateral annexation of the eastern part of Jerusalem. Israel says the revised resolution ignores what it calls the refusal by the Palestinians to return to the negotiation table. Uh, the statement by the EU foreign ministers missed an opportunity to uh, stress the main obstacle for resuming peace negotiations and that is the permanent refusal, the continuing refusal of the Palestinian Authority to uh, return to the negotiating table. In the West Bank city of Ramallah, Palestinian Prime Minister Salam Fayyad welcomed the announcement. It is definitely something to build on. Uh, it's a good day for uh, justice, it's a good day for feeling of justice and uh, uh, for international legitimacy, for international law. Uh, it is uh, not end of the road, it's uh, an important station along uh, the road. The competing claims to East Jerusalem remain the most explosive issue in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. All settlement of occupied territories deemed illegal under international law. Andrew Dupuy, CCTV.